Hey guys, what's up? I'm Macrod, and today I'm going to show you how to get your NAT open in Advanced Warfare for the Xbox One. Uh, before I get into the meat and potatoes of how to do this, I just want to put a disclosure. This is not guaranteed to help you or will fix your problems, but it worked for me, and uh, hopefully yours is related to this, and it will help you as well. So, uh, this is going to be a video about how to change your uh, the firewall and add ports uh, it's really stupid that you have to do this in order to have an open NAT for whatever reason on the Xbox One with Call of Duty but regardless of what it is it's pretty simple once you uh, see how to do it so I'm going to show you how to do that and um, I don't know if I said this or not but this is for uh, AT&T and uh, yours might not exactly be this but it should be similar so the first thing you want to do is get your turn on your Xbox and get it, your um, IP address from it and you can just go into your network and network settings and you can uh, it will show you and then also um, there's two different things there's the NAT on your system and then your NAT on your uh, Call of Duty game so they are two different things uh, for whatever reason alright so the first thing we're going to do is you're going to go to your uh, router's address and for AT&T uh, and for me it's going to be 192.168.1.254 okay go there right and it should have your uh, Xbox with your IP whatever now, if you have it internet or wireless so the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your firewall settings you want to go to your IP, IP pass through and this is going to be for um, basically your system uh, yeah, your system NAT, and what you're going to do is put it on pass through and then dynamic save. And it's going to tell you that you need to restart it, and you just click that, it'll automatically restart it for you. Uh, I think it takes around two to five minutes. Um, and do that. You can check and see if your NAT on your system has changed to open. Uh, you can just re recheck your uh, service or just turn your Xbox on or off and then back on and see uh, if that fixed it or if you could if you had NAT open to begin with you probably don't need necessarily need this but uh, that's why I did it first um, this actually might you can also check it um, that this fixes your whole problems but uh, it didn't for me so second thing we're going to do is go to NAT gaming or wherever your ports are and um, I was already logged into this page, but what you might have to do is put your uh, device uh, password in it and it will just be located on your router. So you can just write that down and um, just put that in there. All right, the first thing I did is I just put uh, these two on. And what you can do is go to your drop down and select your Xbox and then Call of Duty and uh, just uh, put them on. This is where your stuff is, and I just put them on my Xbox. And I saved this, and this didn't work. So then I had to put these uh, ports in. Right. So uh, I have four TCP ones, and what's that? Five UDP. The first, the TCP ones, you can just pause this and write them down as uh, 30, 53, 3075, 3076. And the UDP ones, 500, 3544, 4500. 3075 and 3076 alright and uh, you see where these are all default these are the first ones I put in and tried it and it didn't work but however once I put these four ones that are labeled new hold on a second let me get a drink alright like I was saying these uh, four ones that say new once I put these in, this is what put me over and made all my NAT open for both my system and the Advanced Warfare. So, uh, yeah, I know this can be really frustrating if, um, in terms of hosting and adding people and getting game invites. So, uh, to do these ports, all you have to do is go to your port manager and then type a name in. As you can see, I have all these. And your ports, what I just do is, like, for instance, this, it's going to be 3076, 3076, 3076. Uh, you can open a wide range of ones, but I wouldn't recommend it. Just open your single ones that you need. And then uh, pick which one that is. Go to Add, and then you return to your list. 
and then um, it'll be right here or similar if you don't have like ADD or something it should be somewhat similar you might have to go to a different like uh, category or columns I guess whatever you want to call them but yeah that basically sums it up so uh, if you have any questions feel free to put any comments down I can help you if I know how to do it or um, kind, of, kind of steer you in the right direction uh, so if this helped you uh, leave a like appreciate it and uh, yeah thanks